Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. We begin this evening with breaking news in a story we've been following from the start. Yeah, the 19-year-old who police say ran over and dragged a New Britain police officer is in police custody tonight. The New Britain police tell us just a short time ago that 19-year-old Jaheem Snipe was picked up in Vermont today. Police tell, a, tell us that Snipe was apparently trying to make his way into Canada when he was caught. We don't have a lot of details yet, but police say he was the one driving that stolen car Sunday night in New Britain when he ran over Officer Brett Morgan. The car dragged Morgan about 100 feet. The officer has a number of significant injuries. He has had a couple of surgeries already. New Britain police are going to hold a news conference. That conference starting now uh, in New Britain. Let's go to that right now. Several days ago, we started an intensive investigation uh, w in which every officer of the New Britain Police Department in all divisions, the Uniform Patrol Division, the Criminal Investigation Division, and our Professional Standards Division worked together uh, in concert with other law enforcement agencies to bring the person responsible for violently attacking and, and so horribly injuring Officer Brett Morgan to justice. Tonight, we're able to bring at least some resolution to, to this, uh, th this investigation. We've been following up on all investigative leads, and some of those investigative leads led us to the state of Vermont. Yesterday, we started working with Vermont authorities, the Vermont, Vermont State Police in particular, and today we had sent four of our own investigators to upstate Vermont, uh, to a town of Standard, Vermont, which is very close to the Canadian border, uh, to check the location. The Vermont State Police were, did locate a Frankie Gonzalez, date of birth 11-28-1990, who was a half-brother of Jaheem Snipe, just outside that location. A New Britain uh, investigator did question Frankie Gonzalez, and he made admissions to his own involvement after the fact in, in what happened here in New Britain on Sunday in, into early Monday morning. He also provided a location not very far from the original location that was looked at of Jaheem Snipe. Search warrant was obtained for that secondary location in the town of Barton, Vermont, and shortly before 8 p.m. tonight, Jaheem Snipe was taken into custody at that second location. Jaheem Snipe is charged in Vermont as a fugitive from justice. He will uh, be returned to Connecticut after uh, legal processes. He will be most likely presented uh, tomorrow or in the very near future in a Vermont court to either waive extradition or, uh, or, or fight the extradition. But in e either event, he will be returned eventually to the state of Connecticut to face charges here. We have two arrest warrants for Mr. Snipe. One is for larceny second degree, related to the larceny of the motor vehicle that was involved in this incident. And the second warrant is for the assault on Officer Morgan. That warrant is for a criminal attempt to commit murder, assault on police, and assault in the first degree. The New Britain Police Department has worked around the clock on this. We have worked with the uh, Harford Police Department, they've availed themselves, their, their sh shoot team uh, has been here in the city helping us. Uh, they've been helping us uh, in other aspects. Uh, the state's attorney's office and their, their inspectors and investigators have been here around the clock and are here tonight. Uh, behind me somewhere. Um, the, so the 19-year-old... Uh, this could been not have been accomplished without the teamwork. Vermont. The men and women that you see before you, uh, Morgan, they Officer have Brett been Morgan absolutely has had on two the two surgeries and will need, n will need many more surgeries. He was badly hurt in that incident. That suspect now apparently will be extradited back to Connecticut. We'll, of course, be following and have the latest here on News 8. Yeah.